In an operational first, the Air Force has armed the MQ-9 Reaper with the GPS-guided GBU-38 Joint Direct Attack Munition, or JDAM, bomb. Airmen from the 432nd Wing 432nd Air Expeditionary Wing at Creech Air Force Base and the 26th Weapons Squadron at Nellis Air Force Base, both in Nevada, work together to outfit the medium altitude with the GBU-38, according to a release. That same week, an MQ-9 loaded with a JDAM was used in combat in Operation Inherent Resolve, the Pentagon's fight against the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. Ledkel Case Cunningham commander of the 432nd Wing and 432nd Expeditionary Wing at Creech told us Military News on Tuesday. Although GBU-38 on the Reaper has been in the works for a while, and has been listed a part of the MQ-9's inventory of weapons, it hasn't been operational. Since the MQ-9 entered service a decade ago in 2007, it has carried a combination of AGM-114 Hellfire missiles and GBU-12 Paveway II laser-guided bombs. In 2010, the service paused incorporating the 500-pound JDAM pending resolution of MQ-9, Operational Flight Program, Fusing and Weapons Envelope Discrepancies, according to the Defense Department's Director, Operational Test and Evaluation Office. The delays resulted over testing priorities, not a safety concern, an Air Force official told us Military News Channel on background. Final testing and evaluation wrapped up earlier this year, the official said. The bomb was cleared for operational use in April, Cunningham said. The GBU-38 has a 20-minute load time compared to the GBU-12, which has a 30-minute load time, said senior airman Curtis, a 432nd Aircraft Maintenance Squadron load crew member. The GBU-38 is a quicker load compared to the GBU-12 and gets the plane in the air quicker, Curtis said in the release. Creech Air Force Base finished the testing phase of the Guided Bomb Unit or GBU-38 back in 2016 and began adding this Joint Direct Attack Munition or JDAM to its munition arsenal for continuous training and in combat earlier this week. Airmen from the 26th Weapons Squadron at Nellis Air Force Base employed their first GBU-38 to drop from an MQ-9 Reaper, launched from Creech. The overall impact of the GB-38 is just more versatility. Uh, and more options for the commanders and the, uh, and the air crews downrange. What we're also able to do with the GBU-38 is since it's got a different guidance system, it's a bridge to other uh, GPS guided weapons. The GBU-38's global positioning system allows the munition to hit its target in adverse weather and under poor visibility conditions. There's definitely times I wish I had the GBU-38 uh, in combat prior to this. Reasons where we just can't guarantee uh, a laser weapon's going to be there and we've been restricted because of that. He GBU-38 also has an effect on weapons load crews. 38, 20-minute load time, uh, comparatively to the GBU-12, which has a 30-minute load time. So there's more extra stuff you have to do with the GBU-12 than you have to do with the 38. GBU-38 is a quicker load compared to the GBU-12. Like you said, in turn gets the plane in the air quicker. The GBU-38 is not new to the Air Force and made its debut in the late 90s, but for the remotely piloted aircraft, this addition marks another significant step in our joint warfighter role and capabilities.